Counting down to first pitch in Miami tonight. Major League Baseball on the show is next. On a humid night for baseball, MLB The Show welcomes you to the Sunshine State, Miami, Florida, the site for this edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, it's game two of this four-game set, as it'll be the San Francisco Giants taking on the Florida Marlins. Hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler as we get set for what should be a good one. And, Soup, we turn to you first. What will be the one thing we can keep an eye on here? Well, Matt, one key to this game is going to be whether or not each manager can manage to his team's strengths. Clearly, not all teams are created equally, but the manager that gets the most out of his players here will likely wind up being victorious. All right, Dave, we'll hear from Rex in a minute, but now it's time for our starting lineups as we show you the order for the visiting San Francisco Giants presented by Majestic. And don't forget about big money Benji Molina just because he's a catcher. This guy's got some serious thumb. They'll square off against a young pitcher who already has a no-hitter to his credit, right-hander Annabelle Sanchez. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Into the batter's box is Randy Wynn as we are just about set for the first pitch in this one. Goes after the first one here and sends it on the ground for Uglight second. Throw on to first is in time as Wynn becomes the game's first out. Our umpiring crew for tonight's game, Woody Keller calls the balls and strikes. The old Irishman Porter Callahan's over at first. Dutch Nelson, the crew chief, will be out at second. And Joe Watson will be the arbiter down at third. Fred Lewis will take his first cut to the ball game here. And this will be fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Pitch on the way. And this is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. And he missed with it. It's one and two. And that's taken outside for a ball, so he's worked it back to two and two now. And he knew on that 0 and 2 count he didn't have to throw him a strike, at least not right away. But on two and two now, I think he's going to have to come in with one. And he holds off on the breaking ball, so the count runs full. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, he is really making him work out there. And he takes ball four, so a good job of running the count full and then coaxing out the pass. And now time for a visit from the pitching coach. And everyone in the ballpark knows he's going to tell him, quit walking, guys, let's go. Aaron Rowan will stand in. Fastball up that he sends in the air out to fairly deep center field. Ross is back though and he's there to put it away, two down. So it's a runner at first with two gone and striding in is the first baseman Tony Clark. Throw 
over to the bag and the runner back safely. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Yeah, good crossfire action on the fastball there. Outside for a ball, one and one. He'll leave that one alone. One one pitch on the way. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Oh, he just threw that fastball by him. And after challenging him up with the last fastball, that's a perfect spot for the follow-up right at the knees. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. Now a throw over to first. Almost caught him leaning that time. Ready with another 2-2. He's running towards second. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. So no runs here, no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. And now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. Uh, look there at the Marlins starting lineup as put together by their skipper, Freddy Gonzalez. And Pudge Rodriguez may be winding up his career, but his bat is still lively. Don't overlook him. They'll match up against a youngster that many think could be primed to take a big leap forward, the left-hander Jonathan Sanchez. And there you see, look now at the Giants' defensive alignment behind him. Into the box here is the shortstop, Handley Ramirez, as he'll lead things off in the bottom of inning number one. in there for strike one, zero oh and one. And good hitters like this will just let it go by and wait for a pitch they can do something with. Ball one. Side two and one. And now in the mound, you lose the advantage of strike one by missing with two straight. Good spot for the change there, and that'll knock things up at two and two. Uh, he needs to stay back and let that pitch come to him. Swing and a ball grounded foul off to the right side. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Sharply hit ball toward the right side as this gets foul past the coaching box. Here we go. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. 
Oh, and these two guys are locked in a battle now. And he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Cody Ross digs in at the plate. Now here's the pitch. And that misses inside 1-0. And coming off that long duel to start the inning, you wonder if maybe he'll try to pitch to contact here. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. The pitch. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. So now with two gone, we'll see Manny hit with the bases empty. First pitch on the way. Lays off 1-0. One zero pitch is right there, but ruled a ball two and zero. And you can tell he's really showing him a lot of respect at the plate. A strike and it's two and one. A little bit of sinking action on that fastball. Two out, nobody on. Boy, good change of speeds there. Had him fooled, and from 2-0, and oh, it's back to two balls and two strikes. And is this due to statue up there? That's why you bring the lumber, amigo. The 2-2 two -two coming. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. And you got the big thunder coming next, so you don't want to lose this guy. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Setting up at the knees that time on three and two. Let's see how close this thing actually was. Hmm, pretty close, but that looked like the right call. Dan Ugla will step in now. Ball crushed high in the air, deep to left, way back there, and that one is long gone. So it's a two-run home run for Dan Ugla, number 11 for him on the season, and the Marlins have taken a two-to-nothing lead. We're going to give him a fastball in that spot. You darn well better be able to locate it. 
Once this pitch sneaked back over the plate, you knew this was going to be trouble. Jeremy Hermida will dig in here. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. You can see just not getting the hands through the zone quick enough to tackle that fastball in the inside half. Bases are empty here with two men out. Goes the other way as this is down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here he comes again, one, two. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. He'll try a different arm slot here to see if he can get him to chase. Fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. So two runs on one hit, and the one hit was a big one, the home run. One inning in the books here. The Marlins lead it two to nothing. Benji Molina will step in now, hoping to extend his hitting streak to eight games here. Lays off the slider. Don't know quite where that missed, but it's 1-0. and And getting this guy going is going to be a real key if these guys want to turn things around. Oh, 2-0. and oh. Very unusual to see him lay off back-to-back -back pitches because he's normally up there hacking. Ball three. And you don't want to put the leadoff guy on here when you've got a slim lead. Here it comes, 3-0. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. And so now that'll bring in a guy whose base hit won a World Series here in South Florida, Edgar Renteria. On the ground for Ramirez, this could be two. To Ugla for one. On to first, a double play. Boy, this is just poetry in motion right there. Look at the play that gets this one started. And even more important is the feed he makes the second. Restaurant quality right there. Pablo Sandoval will stand in now. Switch hitter batting from the left side here. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Topping that thing out at 90 miles an hour, so location's going to be very important. And the pitch. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Curveball swung on and missed, and a great call there as the inning is over. Nothing across here this half of the inning. On now to the bottom of the second. The Marlins lead this one two to nothing. Wes Helms will start things off in the bottom of the second. And 
and here's a fastball called for strike one. And this is what he needs to do a little more of. Establish that heater early in the count. And here's a pitch high and tight for a ball, one and one. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Falling behind again here in the second. You better hope this isn't a trend. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. And this is grounded sharply, but foul past Sandoval down at third. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again, still two and two. Another 2-2 two -two offering. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. The leadoff man retired now for Jorge Cantu. And this is low, ball one. Yeah, tough to elevate on a fastball down there. That's a good spot to miss. One out, nobody on. And now this is swung on and pulled down the third base line. A dive, but it's by him for a base hit. Pudge Rodriguez steps in now. And good movement on the fastball there from Sanchez as he jumps ahead with strike one. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Here's the one one. Ah, and that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. Oh, gas! And mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two, but he did, and it's two and two now. And here in the early stages, he's already up over 40 pitches now. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Let's see now if they're going to want to think about putting something on here. Payoff pitch coming. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Anibal Sanchez will be the batter. And that's dead center for strike one. Ooh, and that one pretty much just burns off the outside edge. Here's a fastball that swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And Lewis will make the catch, and that ends the inning.
So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Marlins on top, two to nothing. Brian Bocock is ready to go here as we begin the third. And good movement on the fastball there from Sanchez as he jumps ahead with strike one. And this is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Slice down the line at first. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Now a soft liner to the right side, foul. Ready with another 0-2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. After so many foul balls, that's not a bad idea on the mound. If he's swinging at everything, do not put one in the zone for him. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And these long at bats might not mean all that much now, but they may later in the ball game if they keep driving up that pitch count. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Boy, and I'm exhausted just watching this at bat unfold. It's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. And there's Manny, always an adventure, but he's there to make the play, and there's one gone. Well, that was a struggle, but he finally gets him to lift the fly ball to end the nine pitch at bat. Jonathan Sanchez will get his first cuts here. Jonathan Sanchez. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1-0. And I was about to call this a strike, but apparently not. It's 2-0. And, and Woody Keller's normally pretty fair behind the plate, but he's been known to tighten that zone sometimes. Here comes the 2-0. Swing and a miss, 2-1. and one. I had a good off-speed pitch there and a fastball count. And this pitch is lined softly down the line and left. Foul. That's the 2-2 pitch. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. And this is not the guy you want to lose. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. Take this guy down! 
And it misses ball four. And he's just committed the cardinal sin there, Dave, of walking the opposing pitcher. Not a real good sign here. Already his third walk of the ball game this early? It shows me he may not have his A game out there right now. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring in the right fielder, Randy Wynn. Hit hard back up the middle, and the Giants are officially into the hit column. There's their first base hit. So two men are on with one man out, and digging in is the left fielder, Fred Lewis. Fastball there as this is hit pretty well out towards deep left. Manny is going to have room though as he backs up to put it away and there are two men gone. The tag at third and they got him. A double play and very quickly here the side is retired. Hanley Ramirez makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And that finds its way through. A leadoff single for Ramirez. Cody Ross will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Now a move over to first. And a dive, but he's back in there. Now here's the first pitch. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. Renteria for one. Back to first. And great work by the pitcher hustling over to cover as he takes the throw for the 3-6-1 double play. Manny Ramirez is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 and now. And he'd better make pains not to lay a 2-0 fastball in there to Manny. Holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. And man, life that looked awfully good from up here. Three and one, though. Ah, and that might be the kind of call you get when you're an all star. That looked to catch a lot of the plate. Inside with the fastball, and he works the base on ball. So a runner at first with two away, and that will bring in the powerful second baseman, Dan Ugla. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. Throw over to Clark at first to be in time, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. On now to the top of inning number four. The Marlins lead it two to nothing. Aaron Rowan will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he lays off there, 1-0. Tough guy to face here to start this inning. Ah. 
1-0 is a curveball that's over for strike one. And he's got that thing moving pretty good here in the first few innings. And this is near the line, but foul wide of first. One and two to Rowan. And that's going to be high two and two now. toward right center and he is going to have extra bases to start the fourth and he is in the second base with a leadoff double Tony Clark will get another shot called out on strikes his first time around Too low, 1-0. Trying to work him down in the zone. That's just where you need to keep that fastball. No one out with a runner at second. Hold him down. Now the 1-0 pitch. In there, and it's even at 1. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. And Ramirez can't hang on. Ugla's throw is right there for the first out. Benji Molina will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit hard but foul. toward right center. Hermida is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And that's going to be a sack fly and an RBI as he scores from third. He'll get an RBI in this ball, but this almost was much more than that as it took a great running catch to take away extra bases. Edgar Renteria will stand in. Now here's the pitch. And that's taken for strike one. I need to be a little more aggressive up there. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. A dive, but it's off his glove. And in fact, no throw as he's able to reach first base safely. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And standing in now, the versatile Pablo Sandoval. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. And Sandoval's aboard, a base hit. The throw to third. And they won't get him at third. They're runners at the corners here with two gone. Brian Bocock will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Fastball and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Jonathan Sanchez will stand in. He drew base on balls his first time. Straight away center. 
Ross is there to make the catch, and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just one run. So one run on three hits, no errors, and three men left on base. To the bottom of inning number four we go. Florida's out in front, two to one. Jeremy Hermida will try it again, set down on strikes his first time. Chopper, foul. That's a foul ball. Here's the pitch. Did he go? And now a check swing, but did he go around? No, says Joe Watson down at third. It's ball one. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Spins and pulls this one down the line at first. And Clark will win the race to the bag easily for the putout. Well, with two strikes, you just got to shorten up and make contact, but he chased one there. Wes Helms will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Now here it comes. And that misses one and one. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. that's hammered the other way to deep right field. And that is over the wall. Home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. As they extend the lead a bit, it's now 3-1. They well, hit that ball to straightaway right field, and I thought it was going to stay in the park, but it wound up having more oomph behind it than I imagined. Jorge Cantor will stand in. Base hit his first time around. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. And now you got to snap back in a hurry. You cannot dwell on that home run ball. And a changeup again. He's really messing with him here. It's 0-2. Pitch on the way. Shooting for the outside corner, but he missed it one and two. Now a ball hit in the air to straight away left. This is carrying well out of here. So a solo shot for Jorge Cantu, number 13 for him on the year, as the Marlins have opened up a 4-1 lead. Pudge Rodriguez is at the plate as he watches ball one. And he has really not had command of that changeup so far. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Well, if he's ahead of that fastball, what does that tell you as a pitcher? Throw the changeup and he'll be even more out in front. And 
and here's one that barely misses off the inside corner, two and two. And already we're seeing a lot of deep counts early in the ball game. These can really start to pile up if you're not careful. Sanchez coming up on pitch number 71 so far. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Anibal Sanchez will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the pitch. And, oh, you got to call that. That's right on the corner, but it's 1-0. and oh. Yeah, it's been a high-stress inning on the mound. Now he's looking for a little help from the home plate umpire, but not finding it. Swing and a liner. And here's a slider for a cold strike, and he's behind one and two now. Two out, nobody on. And now a pitch on the way. And a good pitch there as this ball swung on and popped straight up the chute right around home plate. And Molina will look this one in, and the inning is over. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Marlins on top, four to one. Randy Wynn will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Here it comes. A little bit low that time, maybe outside as well. Saw his eyes light up that time, but he swung at a bad one there. Third time through the lineup for these guys now, and they haven't done a whole lot to this point. Outside, two balls and two strikes the count now. Yeah, and when you miss wild like that, it certainly does not help you set up your next pitch. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside, three and two. Sign of a good leadoff hitter here, really working that count. Come on now, let's go. Did he go. Started to go, they'll look for the appeal down to third, and ring him up, says the third base umpire, he's gone. Fred Lewis will get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. And he takes ball one. Ball two now. And you certainly want to make sure you throw strikes to this guy because he'll steal you blind if you give him a free pass. Bring this guy up. And he gets this one over at the knees for the first strike. Ready with the 2-1. Now a fastball for a strike, and from 2-0, and oh, it's back to 2-2. Two and two. And that is 
cut on and missed by Lewis. He's a strikeout victim here to make for two away. Well, he set down the first two guys to face him here in the inning, but they haven't made it easy. It's taken 11 pitches here, but he'll probably take it. So with two gone now, it's Aaron Rowan. Now the first pitch. In there for strike one. And you always want to get that first pitch strike in there when you've got to face a dangerous hitter like this. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. One strike pitch is a fastball high and that evens things at one. And that's what that four seamer will do. It has a tendency to really rise at the end. And he misses two and one. Yeah, you're always looking to keep guys honest with fastballs on the inside part of the plate. Wait. Now a bullet foul as the third base coach had to give it the old ole that time. Sanchez coming up on pitch number 71 so far. Here's the two and two offering. Now a swing and a little soft liner here. And that is in there for a two out base knock. Tony Clark will step in. A ground out victim as last time. And he lays off a fastball. Looked good, but it's 1-0. Not a bad spot to miss. You'd love to get him to reach for something. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at 1-1. One one. Hmm, I'm surprised he didn't take a whack at that one. Now the one and one pitch. And that misses two and one. Yeah, and a curveball down in the zone would have been a good pitch to run on. Hits are even right now at five aside. And now a swing and a routine fly ball out towards center. Ross will get under it though, and he puts it away to retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Marlins lead this one 4-1. to one. So it's back to the top of the order now. And at the plate is the young shortstop, Hanley Ramirez. Swing and a ball in line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. Oh, he rips this one to first. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. Cody Ross will get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. high into foul ground down the right field line. And Wynn won't have a shot. This is a foul ball. Down and away, ball one. This is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. And we've seen he's been pretty consistent calling that low strike. 
And the pitch. Three. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. And here we get a look at his pitches by any to this point in the contest. He's at a total of 81 right now, so that count's starting to creep up just a little. Manny Ramirez will step in. A couple of walks thus far. And this is on the ground toward the hole. Throw on to the first baseman. Clark takes care of him, and the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We're through five here at the ballpark. Florida's out in front, four to one. Just about set to start things in the sixth, but before we do, let's check out the Giants' in-game box score brought to us by Upper Deck. Benji Molina will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Here's the first offering. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Now let's see if he can maybe get a little offense going. Line down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. Now here's a slow grounder to the left side. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Leadoff man gone, and now it's Edgar Renteria. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Do this. Now the pitch. And that's a called strike at the letters. Though that looked high from here, it's 0-2 now. And when things are going bad, it seems like these calls always go against you. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. to the right side but it'll wind up foul down the line at first and a sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball swing and a hard liner to short there to take it is Ramirez. Throw on to first and Renteria's retired. Two gone. Pablo Sandoval will step in. One for two in the ball game. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. One and one. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. And right now at the plate, I think you sit on fastball and react to the breaking ball.
pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Sixth inning, four to one is our score. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Ready with another 2-2. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. And now on three and two, let's see if he gets a fastball here. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. So they go quietly here in this half inning. To the bottom of the sixth we go, four, five, and six coming up. The Marlins lead it four to one. And before the Marlins take their cuts, it's time once again to check out our in-game box score. Sergio Romo is on and he'll take over on the mound. Dan Ugla will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. right there for strike one. Yeah, and when you get strike one on the corner, you can expand that strike zone right away. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball to first. And Clark will win the race to the bag easily for the put out. The leadoff man retired here, and that'll bring up Jeremy Hermida. Fastball runs a bit inside here. It's 1-0. and oh. Oh, that looked on the outside corner to me, but I'm only a broadcaster. It's 2-0. Oh, I don't know about that one. Looked to me like we should be 1-1 one one right now. Now the 2-0. Now here's a ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. So it's a solo home run for Jeremy Armida as they stretch the lead to 5-1. Yeah, and he may have gone to the well one too many times there, and it's going to wind up costing him. Once you give a hitter an idea for the speed and delivery of that thing, he'll learn how to handle it, and I think he handled it about as well as he could there. Wes Helms will get another shot. He homered his last time. Swings over the first pitch, and this is bounced to Renteria at short. Throw over to Clark, and there are two away. Jorge Cantu will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. Now the first pitch. Now a ball lying towards center field, and Cantu is going to reach on a base hit.
Well, when you're going good like this, it doesn't matter what they throw. This is a pretty good slider here, but he stays with it and tries it for a base hit. Buds Rodriguez will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Ball one. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. And now if you can get this guy, the pitcher's spot would be due up to lead off the bottom of the seventh. Two and one. Comes set, now the pitch. And a swing by Rodriguez, but he got under it a bit as this will be pretty routine. Lewis is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Seventh inning coming up. The Marlins lead this one 5-1. to one. Brian Bocock will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. And this one runs up high, ball one. And even at 95 pitches now, they're going to leave him out there to start the seventh. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. And he's starting to get those calls now on the mound. Grounded softly to the left side. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. So it looks like we'll see a pinch hitter now, and it's the 2008 Olympian Nate Shearholtz that's moved into the on-deck circle. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And these guys would love to see the bottom of the order get some offense going. And there's ball one. Trying to lock him up there with a fastball. That's a good spot to miss. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, one and two. And he is just in complete control out there. And this is swung on and bounced out to Ugla at second. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. Randy Wynn will get another crack, one for three thus far. In there, 0-1. Oh and, and he's been able to use that slider early in the count to get ahead.
Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is swung on and grounded to Ramirez at short. Throw on to Helms at first, and the side is retired. Giants are down one, two, three. They're down five to one. Bob Howard will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Anibal Sanchez will stand in. He popped out in his last time. Fastball from Howry, always among his better pitches, and it's strike one. Might have been some thought of going for a pinch hitter here, but apparently he'll stick around and work at least one more inning. And he misses with it one and one. And he'll sling that thing across the strike zone, but he can't nip the corner. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Leadoff man gone, so they'll work against the shortstop, Hanley Ramirez. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And he lays off for ball one. Inside and low, two and one. And after two sliders, he finally gets the fastball. Now a fastball popped high in the air over toward the right side of the infield. Clark is right there, and he's got it for out number two. And we've seen that pitch wind up a souvenir more times than we can count, but he challenges them with a fastball up in the zone and lives to tell the tale. Cody Ross will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. First pitch coming. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. He's got to be careful not to overstride into a pitch on his hands like that. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Two out, nobody on. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Fouled straight back. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. And he's worked down in the zone just about exclusively here in this at bat. Just wait for your pitch now. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right, out of play.
And he chased one there as this is bounced to short. There to get it is Renteria. Throw over to Clark at first will be in time, and the inning is over. So nothing happening this time around. Eighth inning coming up. Florida's out in front, 5-1. to one. Fred Lewis will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Fred Lewis. First pitch coming. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. And all this good work on the mound so far can be undone with one bad inning. So focus needs to be sharp right here. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. And he has just owned that outside part of the plate tonight. in for his strike and he jumps ahead one and two now and look how calm he looks out there his tempo looks really good right now ah! and he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out Eighth inning here from South Florida as you get a look at the line score to this point. The hometown Marlins leading this one as they look to send this crowd home happy. One gone here in the Giants half of the eighth and here's the center fielder Aaron Rowan. Sends in the air out to fairly deep center field. Ross is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. And he's just got it on cruise control now. That's nine straight he's set down. Tony Clark will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Fastball probably could have gone either way, but ruled a ball 1-0. and And this has been a well-played ball game. No errors on either side. Right. Here's the 1-0. And that's in there for his strike 1-1. One and one. Man, is he going to need some ice tonight? He's at 110 pitches now. Breaking ball as this runs in on him and he has to step out of the way that time. Boy, and when you're trailing in the eighth inning, I think you need to let that one hit you. And the slider hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Ross is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Manny Ramirez will step in to lead things off here. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Marlins on top, five to one. Manny Ramirez will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. This is taken outside for ball one. And they've walked him twice already. Don't be surprised if they work around him again. Come on, guys. Here you go, guys. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. And he's missed high with the first two pitches in the inning. Doesn't look like he's really loosened back up yet. Two, 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 two. 
swing and a miss on the heater, and it's 2-1. and one. Good action on that two-seam fastball. That started off the plate and moved all the way over. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. Swing and the ball hit fairly well, heading high and deep toward right center. Rowan is back, though, as he makes the catch for a long out number one. Dan Ugla will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. And a fastball just misses for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. 1-0 pitch now. 1-0 pitch is hit on the ground to third. And this ball had some English on it as it hops up and over his chest. Up with it is the shortstop Renteria. it pretty well high and deep to straight away left plenty of room out there for Lewis and there are two gone trying for a little insurance right there and just didn't quite get it all Wes Helms will dig in he homered back in the fourth Gets this fastball and takes it high in the air to deep straightaway center. And Rowan will make the catch, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Ninth inning coming up. The Marlins lead it 5-1. to one. Benji Molina will stride in, grounded out his last time through. First pitch is bounced on the ground to Ramirez at short. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Edgar Renteria will get another crack, one for three thus far. In there, and it's 0-1. And, and if this guy goes the distance on the mound, that'll be his first complete game of the year. Pitch on the way. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. But this will be foul off to the right out of play. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Swing and the ball popped high in the air into foul territory behind first. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. Swing and the ball popped high in the air and heading for foul territory behind first. And there's out number two. Pablo Sandoval will stand in as their last chance now. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. One more guy to get through. He's got to be exhausted. one -oh on the way. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. and -oh. And let's see if he makes him throw a strike here. Fly 
goal. And this should do it. Ramirez is there. Makes the catch and the ball game is over. And a great job on the mound to seal the deal as he goes the entire way to take home the victory. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond the call of duty here in this one. He's our upper deck player of the game. Yeah, just the one run allowed, Matt, and anytime you can give your bullpen a day off, it does nothing but help your club in the long run. So that'll wrap things up here tonight. For Dave Campbell, Rex Hudler, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB 09 The Show. Join us on the web at MLB09.com. The Marlins win it 5-1. to one. A post-game highlight package is next, so until next time, good night from South Florida.